What happened to your legs? Toby, what happened to your legs? Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, now, what a good day it is. So, the day started off uh, hailstony a little bit. Now, because uh, Carol is out all day, she's, uh, she's working, and then she's going to uh, her uh, Christmas uh, staff party uh, later. So, uh, I have the house to myself, so yay! So, that means I can wear these all day, and nobody can say a damn thing about it. I'm gonna take them off. So instead, um, usually what I do on it when I have a day off is uh, I like to um, play the Xbox. Of course I do play the Xbox. Well, today I am not gonna do that. No, 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 not today. No, I'm gonna have a productive day. Um, I think even though the weather is a little bit crappy, I might actually believe it or not give my van a wash, uh, at least clean it, uh, so I can get ready to sell it. Uh, oh, but first. I should open uh, my advent calendars. See, I have a German one here, and uh, I have a Simpsons one there. Only because uh, I have a slight, uh, well, I have an allergy to nuts, and uh, some of these German chocolates might actually contain nuts. <laughs> so, see what we have here. Okay, Simpsons calendar, we have a Robin. Yum. So I got this one this time. Uh, so if we look on the back, which one it is, it's uh, this one, uh, Heimbiamusi Mini. I have no idea what that is. Oh well, I think I'm gonna eat it anyway. Hmm. Yeah, that's about right. I'll pull my fan uh, into the uh, alleyway here uh, just to uh, clean it. And it turns out somebody has. Um, Ripped off some of the decal. <laughs> Damn it. Now I have to pull the whole thing off. Like I said, just thinking about it, it doesn't bother me actually now because uh, I knew I had to do it sooner or later to sell it, so I may as well do it now rather than it looking stupid. So, um, anyway, so what I'm going to do, uh, a lot of people think when they're removing decals is that they have to scrape and scrape and scrape and. Uh, you know, the best thing to do is, what I usually do is uh, just get a small bucket, I'm going to use the hurry boats in here, and uh, I've part filled it with uh, just a little bit of cold water and some soapy, uh, some soap, and uh, just uh, pour the kettle in there. Uh, you should be wearing gloves, I don't have any, so I'm, I'm going to be like super careful when I do this. So um, yeah, and then you just get a regular sponge, uh, rub it over it. Uh, until it starts steaming. This type of weather is really good to see whether it starts steaming and uh, just uh, start peeling away. It should actually melt some of the glue and you should be able to peel it off. So, yay. I'll tell you something, I don't know how whoever did that was able to get it off so easily. I've actually been trying to get it off with the, the proper stuff and I've only got this stuff taken off so far in just, you know, 10 minutes. Damn it, I don't know why these people, you know, he must have struggled like hell and it must have been freezing when he did it. Why, why would somebody spend the time to do that? <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, why does my phone number have to have so many zeros in it? Ah, I've just come back in. My hand and my arm are killing me now. But anyway, uh, it's only taken me an hour to do one side of the van. And, uh, looks pretty bare, doesn't it? <laughs> looks pretty bare. And, uh, God, uh, what I mean about my phone number having so many zeros in it, it's like, uh, when it's the sevens or the, uh, fours or any other number, I can grab a corner and I can, uh, peel it like this, you know, with the hot water. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm just making myself uh, some more super Haribo Van Sticky Offy Be Gone Mix. Yes. That was pretty clever. 
Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, it's stopping. Okay, Toby. Look after the house while I'm gone, okay? All right? Here we go. And that's what my van looks like now. So, walking down to the supermarket, right over there. I'm gonna go get myself some chicken for my fajita kits. Yummy. This is starting to be a very expensive lunch, just for one, one fajita kit, you know. I, yeah, it's like, uh, they're really good and everything of these fajita kits, but it's like, um, to get one, you have to buy the ingredients, you have to buy the chicken, uh, you have to buy a pepper, um, possibly some extra salsa just in case, and, um, well, whatever you would like to get extra, so, uh, yeah, 11.50, mmm. Expensive lunch, but at least I get to cook it myself, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Why do I have a teddy bear? <laughs> I'm just currently uh, switching my avatar around um, <laughs> because it's constantly uh, plugged into, uh, signed into Player One, which I don't know how that happened. Um, so I'm just about, because I'm starting to play uh, all the games again uh, as myself, just so I can get my online point. Uh, I don't, I don't even know how it works. Uh, upload my progress, you know. Basically, being a big giant nerd, yeah. That's, you know, I just thought of something. Do you remember back, uh, like the old cartoons and stuff like this? You know, like uh, whenever uh, the stereotype of somebody going to sleep in the jammies, they'd wear a hat like this, <laughs> wouldn't they? You know. Uh, and then the pajamas and stuff like this, yeah. Uh, that just made me realize it when I put it on. Anyway, so I've got the quilt, uh, I've got the TV. Um, Corolla's uh, out on her uh, party still. Uh, just finished it editing yesterday's video. Um, yeah, I forgot, whoops. And uh, so I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna wait for her to come back. So, um, yeah. So guess who's back? You enjoyed your meal? Yes, it was very good. We had a good time. Half of the stuff was so drunk they're already in bed or <laughs> still there. <laughs> no, I had a good time. No. But it's a long day. Yeah, just a bit, I know. After eight in the morning. Oh no. I'm tired now. Yeah, I know me too. I'm up at seven working at uh Working at five, up at seven, working at five, huh? Eight till no, five. Eight till five, that's it, yeah. Anyway, uh, oh, on a, on a very uh, funny note, uh, remember how uh, that boat, the Demetrios II that we went I to see? I say good night. Okay, yeah, you say good night. Good night. Remember that boat, Demetrio, uh the second that we went to go see in Paphos when we were in Cyprus uh, back in uh, September? Well, apparently, uh, a little bit farther up the shore, uh, early this morning, another boat, uh, another cargo vessel uh, crash landed. <laughs> yeah, another one. And this one is also just as stuck as uh, as the other one is. And that, that is just unbelievable. That's just really, really funny. And um, But previously, before we left Cyprus, um, another a smaller boat crash landed just a little bit similar to where we were sitting when we uh, when we were showing you guys. And uh, so, but they were able to remove that probably because it was smaller. But either way, uh, so I was joking, saying that maybe there's some sort of magnetic pull in the rocks that <laughs> is kind of pulling in boats, you know, or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's uh, unbelievable. It's that it happens to be right there. So yeah, although around the Coral Bay area, it does have a really funny uh, undercurrent. So whenever it's really really bad with the waves, uh, it it, c it could go any any particular direction, or it could drag you in. It could drag uh, heavy things in, uh, and it could drag light things like a, a human being swimming uh, out to sea, like really, really far out to sea. So, not good, not good. Anyway, uh, so uh, Carol is back. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Um, working tomorrow. Uh, cat on the windowsill. Yep, check. Okay, so uh, we're gonna say good night, take care, have fun, and uh, we shall see you tomorrow. Have you